As the leadership tussle between EPS and OPS continues to simmer within the AIADMK, the question about where VK Sashikala fits into the larger scheme of things crops up. From a top aide of former Chief Minister Jay Jalalitha to becoming the General Secretary of the party to being expelled from the party, Sashikala still seems to have a foot in the door. In 2017, when she was sentenced to prison, many wrote her political career off. However, right after she was released from prison in 2021, Sashikala held a massive roadshow to display her strength as she travelled from Bengaluru to Chennai. Despite the show of strength, she continues to fight a legal battle against her expulsion from the party till date. While EPS and OPS continue to battle for the leadership, Sashikala continues to maintain that the general council meetings held while her case is still pending in the court are illegal. Sashikala has also been making sure that she does not get forgotten with a focus on EPS versus OPS. From time to time, her supporters have released audio clips that support her claims of party workers wanting her to return to the helm and unite the party under a single leadership. She has also been interacting with party cadre across the state and maintaining her claims that she has their support. Recently, on June 24, Sashikala announced that she will be going on a revolutionary tour around Tamil Nadu starting June 26 to meet with the general public and propagate the deeds of party supremo M.G. Ramachandran and J.J. Lalitha, thus staking a claim to the legacy war. But experts believe she still has a long way to go. She has no capacity to become a leader throughout leader. Nobody has the capacity to become throughout leader. Even Edapadi doesn't have. He's trying. OPS is trying. Sashkila is trying. Everybody wants to be the king, but who is the king will be decided by the people. Political analysts are of the view that Sashikala has the backing of the BJP and, on the other hand, is extending support to OPS faction. All factions in the AIADMK are currently slacking, according to experts, as there are no immediate elections or politically significant events coming up in Tamil Nadu. Oh, she, she is a leader only, you know. No executives, no executive can be grassroots workers or they have been tested in the ground level practically. Executive is executive. She was an executive with uh, Jayalalitha. She's a, she's a shadow of Jayalalitha. She can be the shadow again. Experts also feel that a united AIADMK is what the BJP would want to ride on and establish itself in the state, at least as a significant opposition. Thus, there is a greater chance of the BJP facilitating a mediation for a unified ADMK ahead of the 2024 general elections. Sashikala would then have her chance to make her importance felt and possibly find room for herself in the AIADMK. So for now, she might be down, but she's definitely not out. Jedida for the Federal from Chennai.